Hey guys, quick little lesson about what ligands are. Ligands are molecules or ions that have a lone pair of electrons. It needs that lone pair of electrons to attach itself to an ion with a high positive charge density. Take a look at this list of great ligands. H2O, that oxygen has two lone pairs of electrons. NH3, a nitrogen has one lone pair. A CN minus ion has a lone pair on the C and on the N. This OH minus ion, or hydroxide anion, has three lone pairs. This is the oxalate anion. It's got a negative two charge and some oxygens. It almost certainly has some lone pairs. And EDTA is a very common ligand. That's why I've included it here, but there's no way in hell I'm drawing it for you because it's too big. In fact, it's so big that it wraps around things and, and bites onto it in like six different places. These are ligands because they have lone pairs of electrons on them. And what are lone pairs attracted to? Plus charges. So take a look at this list of things with a high positive charge density. Al atoms or aluminum atoms with a three plus charge. That's Three, posits, three extra positive charges in that atom's volume. Very high positive charge density. Notice all of these have charges of two or more positive, and they're all just single metal ions, because if you get any bigger than a metal ion, generally the charge density is going to be too low. After all, density is lower the bigger the volume is. Let me show you what ligands do, though. Al3 plus is a classic example. Let's put an Al3 plus in the center of my paper. And then I have waters. Let's say we have a water here, lone pair, lone pair, H and H. What do the lone pairs on the oxygen say to themselves? They say, oh yeah, I love me some positive charge. And they'll They'll attach to the aluminum. It won't be a bond bond. It's really more of an ion dipole attraction. But what happens is you get six of these waters surrounding the aluminum. And for aluminum, it is six waters, although depending on the metal ion and the ligand, that number can vary. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. H, H, that's five. Oh, 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 if you're into Vesper, these arrange themselves octahedrally. But each of these makes a bond. Again, not a covalent bond, but it is, there is an attraction between the two. The last thing, or the things I want to point out here are that usually we write this as Al3+, but when it's surrounded by waters like this, we show that it's surrounded by three waters by writing H2O6, the same way you would write aluminum nitrate or aluminum iodate or something. Put it in square brackets to show that it's a complex or a, char a, a positive charge center with ligands, and we put the remaining or resulting charge here. Here the charge doesn't change because waters don't have charge. So this is the chemical formula for this which is Al3 plus and six water ligands. There's a special way to name these, but I'm not gonna get into, into that right now. The last thing that I wanna point out is that the bond or attraction that's made between the ion and the dipole is actually a Lewis acid, Lewis base reaction. A Lewis acid is something that accepts an electron pair. That's this guy. This guy is my Lewis acid. These guys are donating the electron pairs. They are my Lewis bases. And each of these attaching is a separate Lewis acid base reaction. Just another way to think about it. What can you do? That's, uh, that's ligands. So watch out for high positive charge density metal ions. Watch out for uh, molecules and anions with lone pairs and they may attach to each other and make sweet love into the night. Best of luck to you.